Hi, Floss Tube. It's Kim with Kim J Inspired. It is Saturday, November 21st. This is a channel about cross stitch, and we talk about some other crafts. And today we'll talk a lot about life, but life as it relates to cross stitch. This is number 20. Thank you guys for your support, for your comments. We had some new people join last week. I want to welcome you. I want to welcome anyone who's joining this week. We try to have a lot of fun here. Gotta warn you, this one might be a little bit sad today. And I'm gonna try not to cry today. And, um, but do come join us. I would love to know what you're stitching. Let me know where you are on Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram as much as I should be, but I need to get on there more. Um, today, you may wonder why I'm wearing an Atlanta Brave shirt. If you know anything about baseball in the U.S., that it's not baseball season. Today is the fourth anniversary of my father's passing. And it's a very hard day. If I didn't have a giveaway, I might have shot on Sunday. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of glad that I'm shooting today. I don't know where I'm looking at the camera today. My eyes are a little swollen. and I did have a little cry fest this morning. So, um... A lot of you, it's really funny as I was talking on my Facebook page this morning that a lot of people, my dad's from a small town in Georgia, moved one town over and a lot of people wouldn't get a chance to know anything about my dad, but there are a lot of you who are from all over the world and you're going to get to hear a little bit about my father and know something about him. Um, my dad was a man of faith and he loved baseball. He introduced me and my sisters and my brother to baseball at a very young age and he is totally the inspiration as to behind why I love sports. Um, I was, it's, I didn't script this today, by the way, okay? <laughs> um, this, though, I'm wearing his wedding ring today. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm wearing that today also around my neck in honor of him. Cross stitch is something that I use to express myself. Even though I don't create patterns, I do try to find patterns that express what I'm feeling. My dad died three months and one day after my mom, and there was a pattern from my big toe. I understand we're people of faith, but we welcome all faiths here. But this pattern, I had I had a really good friend from school die in early 2016. We had a lot of deaths. Steve's mom also died in 2016. Had a lot of people who passed away that year. And I had seen this pattern right after she passed away and purchased it, not knowing that I would lose both of my parents before the year was gone. This hangs up in our wall. This is from my big toe. Try to see, yeah, there's a, you can see it without the glare. Um, this says, um, and I'll read it to you because it's a very beautiful pattern. It says, do not weep over me for I am not here. I loved deeply. I lived fully. Please do not shed a tear. My Lord, my God has called me home. My Jesus, my Savior has called me his own. This is a pattern by my big toe that I did. I didn't use any of the call for because you know I'm a purple and blue person. I think it called for some reds, which was my mom's favorite color, but I just wanted it to match things in my house more. I stitched this in honor of them. And as you guys may know, I try to stitch things in for family members or in honor of family members. Um, I was so desperately all week trying to figure out what to stitch for my father in honor of his passing this week. And, and I started thinking about baseball, and I have a lot of baseball patterns and baseball-related themes. I have some Atlanta Braves patterns, one that's a work in progress. Um, I had a lot of things, but I thought, you know, my dad was a person of faith. So I started going through a lot of my patterns, but then I remembered something, and I, it took me a long time to find it. There was a beautiful church that was in a Christmas edition of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. So this is the pattern that I've chosen to, and I've started it this morning that I will be working on that will be in honor of my father. This is a church design that is in, let me see, I forgot which issue this is. The 2015 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. It is their Christmas edition, so I'm stitching that. The designer is the sunflower seed. Now, I'm also, you may notice that I'm using these cards from Sylvia. I showed these to you last week. I went ahead and jumped on using them because I, I like to keep up. Um, and I put up the top, top of the card in honor of Daddy. Daddy was a person of faith, and church was such an important part of his life. And I thought, what better to do than to stitch a church in his honor? I think I'm going to keep this up in my house year-round and not stitch it as a Christmas ornament. And I may put my father's name underneath it. Um, the call for fabric is a brown color, and it's a 32 count. I have 
I, last week I showed you my, or maybe it was a couple weeks ago, I showed you the fabric of the month from Bee Stitch Me. And it's called Scotsman. And I love it. And I just decided I wanted to stitch this on some blue. So I just got a few stitches in this morning because I wanted to see how this looked. So this is my start. And this is a 28 count Lagana called Scotsman from Bee Stitch Me. I hope you can see that. And I just started, I'm starting up top. So, um, and this is gorgeous fabric. I love this fabric from Bee Stitch Me. I'm changing some of the colors. Um, I didn't have any 844, which this is the the steeple is called for an 844, and I, I substituted DMC 3799. The church is, is stitched in some color, light color mocha. If you guys have seen my Silent Night um, from Country Cottage Needleworks, the church is stitched in this white lightning, and it gives it this from Weeks Dye Works. And it gives us this beautiful variegation. So I'm actually gonna be stitching the church in white lightning and not the called for. And everything else I'll figure out as I go. <laughs> um, I'm also thinking about where the crosses are, that where they're yellow, I might use some metallic threads there. I don't know. I'll know that when I get to those um, places. This will definitely be something I will probably change up as I go along. So. That is a start for me this week, and I'm stitching that in honor of my father. Um, a funny story about my dad and my cross-stitching that you guys have heard so much, and but I'm going to repeat it for everyone who's new here and for those in the back, as people say. Um, I lived at home for a while. Um, I went through a kind of rocky divorce and was in and out of, moved around a lot. And it, for a brief amount of time, I lived at home with my dad, and he, would, he came in one day. And I was cross-stitching, actually, I was cross-stitching Dino from the Flintstones, and I just had the top of, the little top thing on his head stitched in just a little bit, but it was in purple still, but anyway, so my dad came in, and he said, uh, what you stitching? And I showed him that it was Dino, and he goes, looks like a chicken. So the big joke came to be that he always thought I was stitching a chicken, no matter what I was stitching. So... It's a very precious memory for me. There's lots of memories of ball games. I mean, come on, I, my, I have a lot of memories of my father. So because of the chicken joke that my dad made when I was cross-stitching one day, I have, I'm holding that project. I don't know if these are chickens or roosters. Steve is, as usual, Steve is sitting nearby. But it's, it's a bird it's and a it's a little bit of both. Okay, Steve says it's a little bit of both. So I'm stitch, this is a bag that I, of course I got from Deborah at Joyful Stitching. And I have, I'm housing this wonderful project in this bag. So, anyway, I don't want to be sad all day um, in, or all on this video. Um, but um, I know that you've seen I've done a project in honor of my mother that I still need to fully finish. I have a project I'm working on for my youngest stepdaughter. And I have tons for Lee and Steve. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys? I know someone said in the comments that they stitch presents for people. I'm just kind of curious as to do you. And I know that Sarah is stitching something for her Air Force husband. So I'm just kind of curious. That's probably going to be our question um, for our giveaway. Because we do have a good giveaway this week. Um, and I'll probably ask you if you stitch for other people. So I had a really fun week. I'm going to get to the cross-stitching kind of get in my mode here. I don't like wearing t-shirts, by the way, and I feel like I feel like I'm confined in it. Um, this, by the way, has Freddie Freeman on the back, who is, yes, the MVP for this year, and one of my favorite players. So yeah, this is my Freddie Freeman shirt. It was a gift to myself a few years ago. Um, so we're gonna start, get right on into, there's a lot of the stitching, oh, and, and I guess this is also, maybe this might, another theme. A lot of people, and I became obsessed with Cardinals, a lot of people are and have been, when my parents die, because you know the saying, when a cardinal appears, your loved ones are near. And I have a lot of cardinal patterns, hence, okay, here we go. This is gonna be a project bag day. I think almost everything but one is in one of Deborah's project bags that I'm gonna show you. Deborah made this gorgeous project bag for me with a cardinal print. I think this might be in her shop. I'm pretty sure it is. This is gorgeous. So I have a lot of cardinal pa patterns that I'm working on, but if you're a subscriber to Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, then you have you have to I'm gonna tell you that's the best twenty dollars you will spend. You get I think it's twenty dollars. It's close to that. It's very cheap. You get a you get a year's worth of magazines, and this Christmas edition is amazing. I have a digital subscription, so I can't do a flip through for you. But there's so many amazing projects in there. And I'm sorry, I should have unzipped all my bags today. So this is in there. This is by Heart and Hand Designs. It's by Cecilia Turner. 
A lot of people are going crazy over this. I know a lot of people are doing this. Isn't this gorgeous? I wanted it to have, um, I don't know, I just, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And, and this was, it's been a lot of fun this week when I started the project, of the church project from my dad and starting this one. I've really enjoyed going through fabric and floss and trying to decide what I'm going to stitch it in. I was looking at all my fancy fabric um, and going, oh, I want to do it in some kind of linen or maybe an even weave. The call for is a 32 count wren from Picture This Plus. I have lots of wren in my stash and I'm stitching a project on 32 count wren for Steve. I forgot to bring that down here. Um, Steve, honey, will you go up and get, there's a, a project bag, that the coffee project bag for me, the one that holds your project. It's wonderful having him right here. He's done, when he comes on, I'm going to tell you how he saved my day twice already. So it's good to have a good husband. So as I was going through my stash, I go back to my story. I'm sorry I'm scattered today. I was going through all of the linen and I just couldn't find anything that made me happy. I bought this on Stash and Load, this fabric here. This is a 14 count. It's called Nutshell. I don't know who it's by or if it's someone who just dyed some, just hand dyed it themselves. I loved this fabric. And what I decided to do was I just, I love this word floss toss and I love doing them. <laughs> that I, Steve came up when I was floss tossing my dad's project this morning and he was, and I was telling him about it. So I am using, my colors are, it is a Holly Berry. It is from General Art Samplers. Uh, yeah, General Art Sampler Threads. The Cardinal is in Holly Berry, which I think is just going to be gorgeous. And I'm using DMC 938 for what is around it. The project, now, if you want, this is a, I'll tell you, you need to get this magazine. Okay, it's great. The project is called Winter Cardinal Etching, and it is by Cecilia Turner. Make sure I read that right. Of Heart and Hand Designs. And I know that um, Nisi Lynn, she said she was doing this. I saw someone on Instagram is doing this project as well. And I couldn't put it down. I think I started Wednesday night. I couldn't put it down. You could see how far that I got. I had to make myself put it down. I may finish that. It, this may be a finish next week. So, well, uh, I have I have a lot of projects I can't put down right now. When I get started on them, it's really hard. I did work on quite a bit this week. This is my stitch along. This is um, HOD Flamingo South. If you want to look on um, Instagram, we're stitching along. I haven't posted this. I need to post my update. These are three gorgeous flamingo patterns that Kathy Haberman from Hands On Design has put out. This is the one I'm working on right now. Deborah's husband at Joyful Stitching chose Fala Mingo. Hold on, I'm getting a note from the producer here. It is a it is a project bag that looks like these. It says Let Love Brew and it's in the clothes basket, so project bags. Side note, I keep all of my projects and clothes back project bags and clothes baskets. Have two clothes baskets full of whips and, and projects and all kinds of things. Anyway, this is Fala Lamingo. I'm stitching mine. It's close to the call for fabric. The call for fabric is a 30 count two count Icelandic blue linen. Mine is on a 32 count blue Belfast linen. And this is where I am. Why again I'm doing that thing where I look under. I hope you guys can see it. If you can't, if you can't, you can leave. So that's where I am. I am loving this. I do have a mistake somewhere over there, and I am just stitching around it. So, but I love this. Again, you should get into these. Um, I can't wait to work on the next few projects. I love this one. It's called Flamingo All the Way. Crazy about that one too. I just love it. The colors are great. And this is Flamingo Bells. So, but I am glad. It's funny because um, Deborah's husband chose this one, and this is the one I would have probably started with too. I'm going to try to get away from that glare. All right. So, I worked a good bit on that. Um, that was fun. That was absolutely a lot of fun. I'm actually going to have a finish to show you, too, that I'm really, really excited about. Guys, you know when my son is here, that he takes my stitching spot and all of my good lighting. So, what I try to do when he's here is I stitch on my, I have a lot of Prairie Schooler Santas, and I'm stitching them all on 14 count Ada, which is pretty easy to see. It's an oatmeal count Ada. So, he was here this past weekend, stole my stitching spot. So, that means that my Prairie Schooler Santa that I'm currently working on got a lot of love this week. This is Peace on Earth. This is the one from last year. I chose to, to do this one because I just feel like we need some peace on this earth right now, especially with all that's going on in the U.S. 
and love it. I actually am getting pretty far. This is, you know, I have a, one of those boards upstairs. I should bring it. This is how far I got. I'm already almost down to his boots. Um, the white, I, the white on his beard, I actually stitched. My floss is always a mess, guys. This big ball of floss that I found, where you could buy it by the ball, it's DMC white. I bought that, and it's so thick, I didn't like it, but I went ahead and finished his beard in it. I'm going to switch to, like, some B5200 or maybe 3865 to do the lamb and the rest of the white in there. I may have the, I may, I have, I'm actually off Thursday and Friday. Um, we're not doing a traditional Thanksgiving. My youngest stepdaughter is going to be, um, a little bit of weight. She's going to not be able to travel. She's, she is very proud of her for being so cautious during COVID. She's thinking of everybody else. Um, so we're going to do a Zoom thing with them. And I was not really feeling making a traditional Thanksgiving dinner at all. So my husband may not be able to find that project for you. But I have a finish that I'm going to show you first. Because I did work on something else this week. And we may just have to show it next week. Honey, if you can't find it, it's fine. So yeah, this is definitely not a scripted video. So I have a wonderful finish. You know, I love birds. Birds are just like my thing. So this is Christmas Bird Trio. It's designed by Misty Purcell at Luminous Fiber Arts. And I love them, love them, love them. Well, I stitched them. I had a lot of stitching time this week. It was really nice. So I had a lot of stitching time. And I had started the Chickadee because there was a chickadee outside my window. My desk, um, you guys know I work from a desk every day. My desk faces like a bunch of trees and everything. And I see a lot of birds. And the day I, the night I downloaded this pattern, I happened to have seen a lot of chickadees. And look, I have a finish. I'm gonna work on fully finishing that. That's definitely going on my Christmas tree this year. And I wanna start, now we have a lot of blue jays. So I'm gonna start the blue jay next. This is on 28 Count Monaco from Lila May Designs. This is called Ashley's Monaco. It's absolutely perfect for this project. The called for fabric is actually, let's see, 32 Count Soft Sea Linen that is from Luminous Fiber Arts. So I might have to buy some of that fabric. But I had this in stash, so I picked it up. And I'm so, so happy with this. This has been great. So. That's all I worked on this week. I had a finish and a couple of new starts. Um, the project that we that I forgot to bring down is, um, I, you may know I'm working on, um, gosh, it's the coffee sampler. It is, I think it's my heartstring sampler. I may be saying that right. I, di I didn't get a lot of work on it, so it's no big deal that I didn't bring it down. I just, I, for it's a project I'm working on because Steve drinks coffee all the time. And, and, the, and the phrase says is, I don't have a problem with coffee. I have a problem without coffee. And I actually, I just felt like working on it Sunday night. So I picked it up and I put in, I got some, a couple of motifs done. It wasn't a whole, whole lot. So that's going to be something that's going to take a while. I did not work on Steve's Air Force project this week. I will probably work on it this weekend. I may even get it finished this week because, as I said, I have a whole lot of time during the Thanksgiving holiday. We're not doing a traditional holiday. We're probably going to do a family Zoom. And um, I'm not cooking a big meal. So that takes a lot of pressure off me and gives me a lot of stitching time. Which, you know what? I could do housework. I could put up the Christmas tree. We'll see. But I probably am going to prefer to do stitching. I don't have a lot of haul this week. I will tell you a funny story. I do have a little bit that I'm going to show you. And it's also going to be related to our giveaway. So hold on. I'm going to go out of the camera for a minute. Hair's a little stringy today. Hold on. Hold on. And here we are. Um, <laughs> Bee Stitch Me, I'm in their Fabric of the Month Club because her fabrics, you saw that Scotsman that I'm stitching the church on. They're just so gorgeous. And I have a really fun project. I mean, every time I get a Fabric of the Month, I have something in mind for it. It's not like it sits, I think I have one that's just kind of sitting in my fabric bin. But, so my Fabric of the Month, Brandy, I love you. I don't know if you watch or not. She mailed it out. She mails it out timely. So, it, she's in Illinois, if you know anything about Bee Stitch Me. So I was trying to track it because I'm always so excited to get it. So I looked at the tracking. So yesterday, so day before yesterday, I think it said it had left Illinois to its next destination. I thought, oh, I probably should get it Saturday. And that's usually what happens. So when I looked this morning, apparently its next destination was um, Anchorage, Alaska. 
It's in Alaska. You guys know I live in Georgia. Brandy lives in Illinois or she mail. I don't know. I guess she lives there. And it's in Alaska. I don't know how you get that you route something from Illinois through Alaska and then to Georgia. Okay. But that's crazy. Um, so hopefully I'll get it sometime next week. I uh, haven't seen it yet, but I've heard it's really great. I'm in the neutrals club. I do like neutrals better. I was doing the, um, the, the really, I don't know what you call it. The, the dyed all with all the different modeling and everything, but I like the neutrals better. So this week I have, I ordered some floss from Needle Art on Charts. Guys, you need to check out Maria. She can get you anything in her customer service. The reason why I love her so much. She is top notch. If she can't get it, she'll get it for you as soon as she can. So I have some, I, she has a floss club that for November and December, you can join. You can either just be in there for two months or you can stay in there for the whole month. I'm probably going to stay in it because I was just pleasantly surprised. Um, this is my first floss club. My flosses are always a mess, so please forgive me if I don't hold this. So, this is what I received. I received some Wix Dye Works, and what made me happy was she put in a lot of neutrals that you can move in. This is called Light Khaki. I don't know how good this is going to show up on camera, guys. And this is Whitewash. And, man, I, I, I could use that in my Santa, maybe. I don't know. Probably save it for something else. This is called Sandcastle, and I'm crazy about that color, and I'm dying to put it in something. I am a beige person. I love, I don't know, it's beige a color. I love it. And then this is called Grits, which my husband wanted me to get at the grocery store this morning, and I didn't. He likes grits with cheese. Cheese grits. Then she also, then also what I love is, hey, here's some Turkish red. That is going to be great for doing some Christmas things in. And this color, i got to find a pattern to use this. I've seen people, this is called Fathom. I'm going to see if I can get, can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see that variegation. And that dark, oh my God, that dark blue. I love that color. So yeah, I was extremely happy and it was well worth the price. It's just, it's worth it. Then she also sent a sample from Fiber on the on a whim and I'm just gonna let you read what that is. I'm not gonna try to pronounce anything today. Okay, so I love this. This is, that color is kind of like a brown color. I love it. So that came in, and as always, and I'm, I haven't, my, my flosses upstairs, they need to be sorted and I need to get them all better organized. They're kind of in a mess. I would not want anybody to come and see my flosses. I'll put this back, but she puts them in these cute little bags here. And I'm not even gonna have to show you these. I have an extra set of flosses. These are flosses that are for my flamingo, my Christmas flamingo. I have two sets because I need two sets because um, I may do those more than once. I may want several flamingos on my tree. So, gosh, thank you guys so much. I'm a little warm in here because I'm used to not, we have to have the heat on. It's been cold in Georgia. Normally, I'm, I for remember to turn the air on. Middle-aged women, you know how we are with that. All right, guys, it is time for our giveaway. I kind of cut that off, didn't I? Middle-aged women, I, okay, for me personally, I sweat a lot. <laughs> it's time for our giveaway, and you guys know what that means. It's time for Steve, and I have kept the path clear for him. Oh, wait. We'll come on over, Steve, but I'm going to show one more thing. I did want to show one thing. I forgot to put up Thanksgiving stuff this year a lot. I made this last year. This is from a Just Cross Stitch book, and I used a variegated DMC thread. That's all one thread, one color of floss, and I really should have hung this up this year, and I'm going to hang it up at least for the next few days before Thanksgiving is over. As you can see, I'm just mainly stitching Christmas, so... All right, before he's shaking the hat, he's he's anxious. Say hello, Steve. Hello. He also has on an Atlanta Braves jersey today in honor of my father. Is that your Jeff Francoeur jersey? Yeah. Jeff Francoeur played for the Braves, and he is now a Braves announcer. And he has the jersey and said, my has Freddie Freeman. So, today we're giving away, yes, this, you've seen a lot of bags from Deborah today. I am in love with this bag. I don't want to give it away. Uh, but I'm going to. This gorgeous bag from Deborah. It's this little hot chocolate. It's going to be cute for so many things. And I think I might have to get it when I start working on my Valentine's Day projects. But this isn't this cute. And you, of course, you're going to get the little accessories bag, which I love for my scissors because it, and I, sometimes some of my projects have so many floss that I, so many, so many different kinds of floss that I don't get to 
they, they just don't fit in there as well as I want to, and I do, but I definitely, this is separates my scissors. Deborah, last night, Deborah, I usually order a couple of bags a month and I try to plan them out. Last night on Instagram, Deborah posted a gorgeous bag. It's got green and uh, I know it's got a green base to it and I loved it. It's a silent night bag, which if you're working on any projects that have silent night or just any Christmas projects, it's so gorgeous and I had to order it right then. And I, I'm like, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do for December for what bags I'm going to order. But I had to have that one right then. As I say, Deborah doesn't really have a bag of the month club, but I'm kind of a, the and, and the only member, or I'm an, I'm the the first member because I order every month. Um, it, I just put it in my monthly stitching budget. So, I've rambled on and on. Steve, have you had a good week? Pretty good so far. It's not over yet. <laughs> Steve, this morning, I could not find my iPad, which I needed. It's not an iPad. Sorry, it's a Fire tablet. It's Amazon Fire. Could not find this, which I need to show because we don't have a color printer, and I don't want to invest in a color printer. So, like, if I want to show you a, that like this, I need to, I usually just show you on. I took that idea from Laura at Stitching by the Shore. She does that as well. And it's just a great way to be able to show you what they look like in color because sometimes it helps to see them. So, I couldn't find this this morning, and it was in an obscure place, and he found it. And I had put it there. Duh. <laughs> but he found it. What else did you help me with this morning? You felt, see, we don't even remember what he helped me with, but he has been very helpful this morning in helping. Oh, I know what it was. I had left my preschooler project bag downstairs because I had been working on it. And, and he was able to figure out what to bring me upstairs while I was trying to get everything prepped. So, anyway, I don't know why I did this. This is the bag. I put it over there. This is the bag. So we're going to draw for the project bag. I really, really appreciate all the comments. Um, they're fun. I, I love getting to know you guys. My Instagram is going to be in the comment box. So please follow me on Instagram. Are you ready to draw? Am I drawing or are you drawing? You can draw here. I can draw. All right. Let's see who won this gorgeous project bag. He always makes your names very tiny, so I can't. Sarah James, you won the bag, and you had commented you may end up with a project bag problem. Well, yeah, you probably are. I have one. It's okay. Maybe we should start a support group, those of us who are addicted to Joyful Stitching's bags, because I'm certainly, you saw almost every project, and I have a ton more up there. And I'm ordering two more. I just can't decide. So, Sarah. Please um, send me, you, you can either send me a note on Instagram or you can, my email address is down below so that I can get, I, I usually mail on Wednesdays and I will try to do that. I may mail earlier. I'll try not to be late. I know Sylvia, I was late getting yours mailed out because it happened to all happen during the election and I had a lot of work when all that was going on. So, but I will get this in the mail to you and yes, go Razorbacks. Are they, I don't know if they're playing today. The Vols are playing Auburn. Who's Georgia playing? Oh, I thought Mississippi we... State. Misses. Is that Kiffkins? No. No. Okay. I don't know a lot about some of the teams sometimes. I just Kiffin like them. So, well, I want to thank everyone. Yes, we're right at 30 minutes this time. Thank you for, for listening to stories about my dad. Thank you for joining us. I am so grateful for this community and so grateful for everyone who has been with me since the beginning. Oh, giveaway. I almost forgot. Oh, my gosh. Giveaway. It is time for our Needle Art on Charts $20 gift card that we do every month. Um, so, all I want is tell you what I want you to do. And I thought about this. I didn't even bring a, I didn't write any notes down. This all was top of my head today. What I want to do is I want to hear what is the favorite, pro, what is your favorite project that you are currently stitching right now? You know, we all have a lot of whips. Some of you may be monogamous stitcher. I, stitchers. I don't know how you can do that because I'm always getting distracted by pretty projects. So tell me what is the, your favorite project that you are stitching on right now and you can win a $20. You will be entered to win a $20 Needle Art on Charts gift certificate from Maria and she is amazing. She can get you what she, she doesn't have it. She can get it for you. And just please be patient because as you know, with a lot more lockdowns going on, there's some things that might be harder to get for a while for everybody. I'm going to place a big order today um, just so that I can, you know, with, with a lot of people, just so I can make sure that I get all the things that I need um, that I think I'm going to need for the next few months. So, anyway, please just tell me what your favorite project is. Well, that was ram that was pretty random and a lot of rambling. So, <laughs> but thank you once again. Steve, you got anything else you want to throw out there? Uh, speaking of community... 
This is my alma mater, <laughs> high school the... alma mater. Next Friday, they're going to be in the playoffs, the football, high school football. It's Adairsville High School. We live in Adairsville right now, where Steve is from, and I'm from a town just really close to there. So, so yeah, so yeah, we're always about our sports. You guys know that here, sports and cross stitching. That's a lot of our life. Thanks again, guys. We will see you next week. I just bumped the little camera. Sorry about that. Have a great week. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.